Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install Forge on a Minecraft server. We will first go over how to install Forge using the jar menu, and then we will go over how to install Forge manually. If you want to use the jar menu, it is limited to premium servers or budget servers with the advanced support add-on. If you are running a budget server and do not have the advanced support add-on, you can skip to the manual version of this tutorial, or you can open a support ticket and purchase the advanced support add-on through our support ticket system. Also, before we get started, the server must fully start once to generate config files and folders. We will first go over how to install Forge using the jar menu. We're going to log into our Bicycle Toasting Premium or Budget panel. And then we're going to choose the red stop button to stop the server. Once stopped, we're going to open the jar menu with the open jar menu button. We're going to select forge and we're going to toggle the forge button next to the version of forge we want to install. So for this tutorial, we want to install forge on Minecraft 1.19.4. So we're going to toggle the forge latest button. Once that's toggled, it'll ask what you would like to do with your existing server files. For this tutorial, we're just going to choose to delete the current files, but you need to choose what you want to do for your server. Once that's completed, you can start the server and you'll have installed Forge on your Minecraft server using our jar menu. We will now go over how to install Forge manually. First, from the Forge download web page, which I'll have linked in the description, we're going to choose a Minecraft version that we would like to install on the left hand side. And then we're going to choose the installer button to download the Forge installer. We are now going to launch the Forge installer and we're going to choose the install server button. We are then going to change our folder of where this is going to be installed to somewhere we can easily find. So for this tutorial, we're just going to install it to a folder on our desktop. Once we've changed that, we can click OK. Then we can open up the folder on our desktop. There are three different things you will see depending on the version that you have installed. If you are running Minecraft 1.6.4 through 1.16, you will see a Forge jar and a Minecraft jar. If you're running Minecraft 1.17 to 1.20.2, you won't have any jars. And if you are running Minecraft 1.20.3 or newer, you will see a Forge jar. Depending on which version, we're going to do different things. If you're running the Minecraft 1.6.4 through 1.16 and you have the Minecraft jar and the Forge jar, we're going to rename that Forge jar to custom.jar. If you are running Minecraft 1.17 through 1.20.2 and you don't have any jars, we're just not going to rename anything for this step. If you are running Minecraft 1.20.3 and newer, you are going to rename the Forge jar to custom java 17.jar. Once you've done those, regardless of which version you have, we are going to select all the files, right click and choose send to compressed zipped folder. This will then zip up all the files in this folder. We are now going to minimize this to use later in the tutorial. Now we're going to log into our bicycle toasting budget panel and we're going to choose the stop button. Once stopped, we are going to select the open jar menu button and we're going to choose custom on the left hand side. Depending on which version you're running, you're going to toggle the following buttons. If you're running 1.16.4 through 1.16, you are going to choose the custom dot jar. If you're running Minecraft 1.17 through 1.20.2, you're going to choose custom forge 1.17 plus. Finally, if you're running Minecraft 1.20.3 or newer, you're going to choose custom Java 17. Once the button is toggled, it'll ask what you want to do with your existing server files. For this tutorial, we're just going to delete our current files, but choose what you want to do with your files. Once that's done, we're going to go to the file manager and we're going to choose the upload button. Then we're going to reopen that minimized folder and we're going to drag the .zip file into the server. Once that's finished uploading, we're going to right click the .zip file and choose unarchive. It'll ask us to confirm and we'll choose the unarchive button. Once that's finished unarchiving, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have manually installed Forge on our server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com kb, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. 
If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.